Next week, we will continue to bring you updates on Bryson's Earth Bag Bedroom. However, we're experiencing a crisis that must be addressed immediately. Ice cream is a normal staple around our household. I mean, you have to do something with all the goat's milk. Over the years, our ice cream lid has endured dishwasher warping and several falls. If not fixed immediately, we will have to go without ice cream. Bryson is called upon to solve the problem. But first, here's a backstory. When Bryson was about 13 years old, he had his heart set on getting a 3D printer. I first learned about 3D printing when my brother showed me it online. Boys discovered it online, were excited about it, and he just would not stop talking about it. I needed it to create an idea, a design I had. When Bryson said he wanted to get a 3D printer, I was like, sure, being the very supportive sister I am, I was like, okay, Bryson, you do that. Because, I mean, when you're a kid, you know, you just you dream about stuff. I'm going to get a pickup truck when I get older. Saving the money was a kind of a cool part because he went through and started cashing in on his birthdays and things like that and saving it all up. He took on a lot of odd jobs, too. He would be helping out neighbors with stuff. And then he started collecting cans, aluminum cans. He built that can van out of pallets and set that up at the end of the dirt road. I don't know, it's miles of dirt road to get back to our house. He'd put a bin out there. And so we'd get a whole big bag full that would fit in the back of the truck and we'd take a trip to um, the city and we cashed in and he'd have himself a sum of money. I think it ended up being a couple years of saving. Started doing some more research and found one for 700 online on a Kickstarter campaign. But then he saves up and he does it. It was so cool to see that. He waited all this time and he purchased it. Because it was on Kickstarter he knew he'd have to wait another three four months to actually get the printer. They had to make it. It was one of those deals where you give them the money and then they make the, the product and then they ship it out to you at a yeah. discounted price because they're kind of getting their company started. And when it came, it came in a, a many, many pieces. Hit Richter set, you know, with all the teeny yeah. little screws and all that. Yeah, it was amazing. He actually put it together piece by piece. And not only did he physically put it together, the programs and stuff that you have to go through to make that stuff happen, it's just mind blowing. It came right around Christmas time and both the boys were so excited. They mm -hmm. were just in there, you know, diligently putting that together. The first thing he did was a whistle. Remember the yeah. whistle? So now when he says he's going to do something, I have like no doubts at all. It was really exciting to see as a young boy, he knew exactly what he wanted mm -hmm. and he stuck to it day after day, that month cool. after month. Yeah, that was cool. Bryson offers to make a new lid using the 3D printer. Ice cream lid here. And this one is just busted up and missing corners. So I designed this ice cream lid so we could 3D print it out and have a new ice cream maker because we gotta have our ice cream. It's very important. I first designed the 3D model. This here, it's a little different with this one here. Like the top of it, instead of this, it's flat. And then it's rounded in here instead of it has, it has this nice swirl. So it won't be the exact same. And then sliced it up in four separate parts because it was a little too large to fit on the platform. It's a little bit too big to 3D print, so I'll be doing it in four pieces. All right, the first part is done. The ice cream maker lid has finished. Dun, 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 dun. Well, I found a really useful way to use the ice cream lid. That before it was put together, if you tilted it up and you got it at the right angle, I could set my phone in there and then I could watch TV shows and it kept my phone up. But it's working quite well. So now we're just gonna go ahead and glue it together. I glued them together. The next step was to put it on there and test it out. There we are. Now well, it sticks onto it. A little tight, but. Yeah! Is it going to hold? This is where it would fail if it was gonna, because it's getting really thick in there. And it's doing fantastic. It works. You gotta admit, that looks pretty darn good. So why go through all this work to make an ice cream maker lid? The answer's simple, we do it for this. Phew, Bryson saved the day. Thanks Bryson. If you're interested in a more detailed look into making the ice cream lid, Bryson did a video on it. Shay also has a video on our simple chocolate ice cream recipe. And Bryson completed a video a few years ago on his homemade can collecting bin. Okay, we got the base coat on. Shay is going to sketch. What are you going to sketch, Shay? Subscribe.
For more information, you can click the website link below. Thanks for watching. I'm just going to slow down. There's just some words that I can't say in the English vocabulary. I'm wondering if I can ask him to make yeah. me some. Did you have to use both sides or just one? Like you could use one, but it was kind of like slippery and your phone could fall out. So I used two. That's really helpful. Or Our better phones. yet, a holder that you can actually lay down in bed and have the holder play. And just be right there. And yeah, that would be so helpful. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, guys.